<clears throat> assalamu alaikum uh, today we shall talk about the reduction of aromatic nitro compounds using dissolving metal reduction let's first look at example it is <clears throat> two nitro naphthalene it's an example of aromatic nitro compound the nitro group uh, is directly attached to an aromatic ring although there are many other aromatic compounds but for example this one although this is aromatic compound but here nitro group is not directly attached to an aromatic ring system so i am talking about the aromatic nitro compounds where nitro group is directly attached to the ring having highly stabilized pi electronic clouds so when aromatic nitro compounds are made to react with zinc in concentrated HCl what we see that the nitro group gets reduced into amino group so you get two amino naphthalene two amino naphthalene <clears throat> what are the different uh, metals that have been employed for these conversions those metals that you will most often you will encounter is a stain iron zinc dust or zinc metal etc most commonly people have employed this concentrated hydrochloric acid for the reduction however some studies are also present where people have used zinc in acetic acid <clears throat> let's take another example of the reduction of the aromatic nitro compounds this is nitrobenzene when it is made to react with tin in hydrochloric acid concentrated tin is the yellow powder metal exists in the granule state and hydrochloric is a concentrated so when you use this reagent as it acts as a strong reducing agent for the reduction of the nitro group and so the nitro group is reduced into amino group let's first discuss its mechanism <clears throat> mechanism we know the zinc when it, whenever it is dissolved in any any aqueous media it releases two electrons <clears throat> and also hydrochloric acid it ionizes into hydrogen ion chloride ion so in reaction mixture you will have a pool of electrons since many many electrons are present in the reaction in the re reagents pool of electron pool of hydrogen ions pool of chloride ions pool of zinc ion so as a whole it's a another 
dissolving metal reduction process so metal is dissolved in concentrated hcl it is used for the reduction of the nitro compounds so now we see the what is the mechanism of this reaction I am representing the aromatic ring as AR because aryl group may be benzene, may be biphenyl, naphthalene or, or any pyrrol or many other aromatic systems. So generally I am going to represent it as AR and nitro group is directly attached to the carbon which is a part of the aromatic system. it would be more convenient for us to understand if we write nitro group in its Lewis form nitro aromatic nitro compound so what happens in the first step that zinc it releases an electron single electron transfer take place it is also called set mechanism what is it? single electron transfer takes place and when single electron is transfer to the nitrogen having positive charge to balance the valency this pair of electron moves over oxygen and oxygen gets negative charge you will get positive charge one electron negatively charged oxygen this one and since in your reaction mixing I have told you that there is there are plenty of hydrogen ions are also present so what happens that this negatively charged oxygen it abruptly picks this proton and changes into OH you get this intermediate next again single electron transfer occurs you see that I am drawing hook like arrow which clearly indicates the transfer of one electron so this positively charged nitrogen gets neutralized so you get lone pair of nitrogen OH and oxide in the next step the pair of electron comes back and it kicks out this hydroxide ion and you get nitroso compounds this is why stable species so the rest of all others were intermediates so whenever metal is dissolved in an acid and is made to react with aromatic nitro compound you finally get the nitroso compound can you see that whether the reduction has taken place over here starting from aromatic nitro compound to aromatic nitroso compound yes since the oxygen contents now have reduced so reduction has taken place so far here but the reaction does not stop here it proceeds further what happens next again single electron transfer occurs five electron 
cloud moves over oxygen oxygen gets negative charge it picks up hydrogen from the reaction mixture what happens next again transfer of single electron oxygen gets now nitrogen gets no negative charge it picks hydrogen ion from the reaction mixture it changes into now what is the name of this compound what is the name of this class of aromatic compounds this functionality is known as hydroxylamine so aromatic hydroxylamine compounds are formed this is another very stable molecule so in this during the course of this mechanism first you get the aromatic nitroso compound then you get aromatic hydroxyl amine compounds what happens next again single electron transfer takes place kicking out this hydroxide ion you get nitrogen and lone pair of nitrogen the next step again single electron transfer takes place and now it changes into NH negative which picks up the hydrogen from the reaction mixture since you have hydrochloric acid in your reaction mixture plenty of hydrogen ions are there this is your final product <clears throat> reaction uh, mechanism is very simple it follows the set mechanism metal is dissolved single electron takes place and the rest of the movement of electron density then picking of the hydrogen ions first you get the aromatic nitroso compound after that again single electron transfers takes place nitrogen gets negative charge and finally you get aromatic hydroxyl amine compound again transfer of electron takes place from the metal and in the finally you get the aromatic amines the mechanism looks very simple practice it <clears throat> this is the reduction of the aromatic nitro compounds in acidic media which has been studied mostly but there are many other reactions of the aromatic nitro compounds which has taken place in neutral medium when aromatic nitro compounds are made to react with metal not in hydrochloric acid in neutral medium such as ammonium chloride solution so reduction takes place and you get benzene hydroxyl amine <clears throat> similarly if you have two nitropyrrole and zinc in the presence of acetic acid many reactions you will come across that many people have utilized this acetic acid instead of hydrochloric acid when it is used in the combination with zinc then again reduction of the nitro group will take place and you will get two amino pyrrole you see this is very 
selective reduction methods for aromatic nitro compounds. If you have aliphatic nitro compounds, aliphatic nitro compounds such as this one this is benzyl nitro benzyl compound when benzyl nitride is made to react with lithium aluminium hydride in THF then reduction of this nitro group takes place and it changes into benzyl amine but if you use zinc in concentrated HCl, then no reaction would take place. Since this reagent is helpful for the reduction of aromatic nitro compounds, not the aliphatic nitro compounds. Okay, I hope you have got this idea. Now let's see the effect of substitution effect of substitution on aromatic nitro compounds. For example, if you have methyl paranitrotolamine and you are going to reduce it with zinc HCl since I have told you that this reagent is very selective for only reduction of the nitro group so nothing is going to be happen on this rest of the molecule only nitro group will be reduced into amino group If you have two nitro groups, then what will be the product if you reduce this compound with zinc dust in concentrated hydrochloric acid? If there are two nitro groups, both will be reduced into amino groups. How can we selectively reduce one nitro group? How can we selectively reduced one nitro group for example if you have this compound metadinitrobenzene and if you will use zinc HCl both nitro group will be reduced but how can we selectively reduce one over another then you will have to use this reagent ammonium bisulfite now students this reagent reduces selectively only one of the nitro group so your product will be this one. 
the mechanism of this reaction has not yet been fully understood so i'm not going to make the this mechanism more difficult for you to understand just you have to remember that if one of the two nitro group you will have to reduce only one of them then you will have to use ammonium bisulfide now if you have a bulky group isopropyl benzene 2,4 dinitro isopropyl benzene and you are using this ammonium bisulfide and I have told you that it will if you are using only one equivalent of ammonium bisulfide then it will reduce one of these two nitro group so which one will get reduced you will see that here this nitro group is statically hindered the approach of the reducing agent to this nitro group is uh, rather restricted so this nitro group will get reduced this would be your final product But if you have strong electron donating group, presence of strong electron donating group, then the nitro group which is more closer to electron donating group will get reduced for example if you have 2,4 dinitro anisole here this uh, and you will have to reduce using ammonium bisulfide and this is very selective it will reduce to one of the nit two nitro groups so which one will get reduced you will see that the nitro group which is in the close vicinity of this electron donating group it will get reduced into amino group this will will be your final product and if you will use zinc hydrochloric acid concentrated both of these two nitro group will get reduced okay so I am leaving for you a problem now this is a picric acid 2 4 6 trinitrophenol commonly known as picric acid and you are going to have only one equivalent of ammonium bisulfide now you will have to tell me which one among these three nitro group will get reduced and if you use 10 HCl concentrated then what will be the product In aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions, you might have learned Friedel-Craft acylation, and you are asked to convert this into this compound. <clears throat> this compound you will have to convert benzene into para nitro uh, phenyl 
uh, it's a ketone so para nitrophenyl ethyl ketone then how will you convert this compound if you will first perform the friedel craft isolation then you will get starting this one propanoylation will take place and then if you perform the nitration nitric acid then you know that this is a meta directing group so your product will be this one major but how will you prepare this para nitro compound uh, try to solve this one i am giving you the hint that first what you will do is to convert this keto group into ortho para directing group how in previous class i have told you that <clears throat> propane diethyl is a very good protecting group for the keto group it will first protect this one so here we have a sulfur s no it's or the product directing then you will perform the nitration and now it is or the product directing group you will get this compound after that you will perform hydrolysis and finally you will get your desired product now i am leaving for you few problems to solve i am sure you would easily solve them few of them i have already explained in this lecture that this is the your starting compound uh 2,4 dinitro anisole and what will happen if you will use zinc in acetic acid and what will happen if you will use ammonium bisulfite one equivalent so one of these two nitro group will get reduced which of them you will have to decide similarly among these two nitro groups one of it will get reduced in the presence of ammonium sulfide uh, sodium sulfide or ammonium bisulfide and if you will use tin hcl both of them will get reduced so these are few problems for you to solve and then you will have to convert these compounds starting from benzene to para amino phenyl ethyl ketone benzene into this one how will you convert nitrobenzene into azo diazobenzene how will you convert this nitro biphenyl 1234 nitro biphenyl into 4 amino biphenyl so i hope you would have enjoyed this lecture thank you so much